and welcome to yet another Mind Wars Masterclass. I am Panna Kamaljeet, a psychologist with over 11 years of experience in the field of mental health. Choices, choices everywhere. Just too many choices these days, right? And sometimes they push us into a whirlpool of confusion, self-doubt and frustration. A few years ago, career options were minimal. Competition was less fierce. But now, every single year, hordes of teenagers flock to counsellors and psychologists with the hope of finding the perfect career for themselves. To begin with, let's go over a few common mistakes that you might make while choosing a career path. You might want to do something just because your friends are doing it and you want to follow their choices. Or you might follow something just because your family, your relatives or your teachers are telling you to. Sometimes you may also follow something because it is the latest trend or it shows a lot of monetary promise in the future. If any of these are your reasons for why you're choosing a career, stop this isn't the right way to go about it. Let's list down a few steps which can help you in making the right choice. The first step in choosing a career is self-exploration. It means understanding ourselves as well as our interests, needs, talents, preferences. As a student, you need to explore all the career options that the world has to offer and then make an unbiased and independent choice. Let me tell you that there is no universal perfect career choice. So then ask yourself, what am I looking for? Identify what subjects you're interested in and list them down. Do your research by getting in touch with your seniors and other people from the field you aspire to be in. Also, Identify the employment opportunities, uh, growth prospects, salary and the kind of work that you would be expected to do. All of this might seem like a very, very long process. But I'm sure that our career deserves more time and consideration than what we give to buying a mobile phone. Once you have explored all the possibilities, another question arises. When should I go for career counselling assessments? Uh, some people say the earlier the better. But psychologists would disagree. It is advisable to go in for career assessments at the end of 10th or 12th grade. That is when you're about to make a transition. But why should you wait for so long? The answer lies in your brain development. Teen brains tend to develop very, very quickly. So the career assessment and the results that you got in 8th or 9th grade may not be applicable by the time you finish school. So don't rush. The best decisions are the ones that are made when the time is right. Time to move on to the next question then. If you want to get a career assessment done, whom should you consult or approach? The answer is, the people that you approach should be psychologists with expertise and experience in career counselling or vocational guidance. These professionals administer a string of scientifically backed tests to help you narrow down to a possible list of career choices that may be the best fit for you. Now usually when you visit a career counsellor, you will be given four types of tests. An interest test, an intelligence test, an aptitude test and a personality test. They help you identify areas in which you can possibly succeed even if you have no real life experience in those fields. Aptitude tests 
can tell us whether we have the natural ability to do something. Now just imagine how much you would benefit from learning something that you have the inborn ability to do. Interest test. Talk about your inclination or liking for a subject. They would help you enjoy the coursework and increase your chances of better grades. Intelligence tests will help you understand if your intellect matches your chosen field. Uh, because sometimes you may be interested in a subject but your brain might be better at something else. Personality tests help match your unique identity to your career choice. Your unique identity is nothing but how you think, how you feel and how you behave with others. So an ideal career path for you should always ensure a perfect match of all of these four. Aptitude, interest, personality and intelligence. How do you identify if you have made the right career choice? The right choice would always make you look forward to attending your lectures. It would make you feel like talking about your choices with your friends and your family. It would also make you feel very hopeful and optimistic about your future. And even if there are parts of that career choice that you don't like, I'm sure that those parts would be so much smaller than the parts that you love. Remember that the right career for you always begins with a dream. A dream where you see yourself being happy and content with whatever you're doing gives you a purpose and a direction. Your career choices should always be your own because you have to live that life and face the consequences as well. So never let pressure from anyone get the better of you. Planning a career is a lifelong process. It is okay to change track if your current path isn't making you happy. If your current choice seems to be more energy draining rather than energy gaining, I think it's time to revisit your choices and update them. That's because many a time success comes after failure. Learning is all about making mistakes and knowing how to avoid them in the future. Remember the first time you rode a bicycle? I'm sure you fell off lots of times. You bruised your knees too but you didn't stop and that's what matters. Since we spend much of our adult life working, we deserve to be truly happy with what we do. Choosing a career should never be a compromise. There has to be passion, motivation and determination to follow your dreams. The whole process should give you valuable insights about yourself and enable you to find something that makes the best use of your natural talents. Career and ambition add value to our lives. So choose wisely and let yourself shine. Do you want to be the first one to know about these videos on the MindWars YouTube channel? Quickly press subscribe and hit the bell icon. Remember that knowledge increases when you share it so don't forget to share this video with your family and friends.